Well, I would prefer to not think of what we do as revolutionary. I would prefer to just uh, think of it as things that uh, best practice companies are already doing. And, and, and I think that the thing that what they're doing, what good salespeople do are the very best, is they don't sell. They help. Uh, our training is really not how to teach salespeople to be better salespeople. This, this is key. Uh, it's really to teach salespeople how to become better business people, to deal in business value issues. If you're trying to teach a person how to add more value to clients, to be a business person who sells, you're teaching them things like how customers make money. You're teaching them how customers sustain growth. You're teaching them customer strategy. I think training is one part of the solution to move the needle, and it's often a critical part, but clearly it's only a part. Uh, applying technology in the field in a way uh, that salespeople can add value to their customers and create accountability to change is something very, very new out there that we're interested in, in, in applying with our customers. Because salespeople are just like everybody else. They have a tendency to gravitate back to what's familiar, what's comfortable. And in this case, it's usually calling on mid-level buyers. That's what's familiar. And what's comfortable is having product conversations. What we're trying to do is to typically get a sales force to call higher, senior conversations, and not talk about products, to talk about business. Well, I wrote a seat at the table, you know, essentially because of this role shift that we're seeing, that salespeople are moving from uh, being excellent product salespeople to being client advisors. I think one of the things that we hear that's common to best practice is the less salespeople talk about products, the more products they sell. We see selling as changing radically because buying is changing radically. It's your advice that's going to move the needle. It's your expertise. It's business know-how. So what's the business know-how that you need to learn to work with your customers to take them north? Because that's what they're looking for. So for the person watching this, I think the major takeaway is this. It's not the product you're selling that's going to be the difference. Uh, it's not the service you're selling that's going to be the difference. The difference in winning and losing is going to be you.